Raymond Mpakamisi M. H. Labba, the 12th of February 1920 to the 20th of February 2005, was an anti-apartheid activist and leader of the African National Congress (ANC), also as well the first premier of the Eastern Cape. M. H. Labba spent 25 years of his life in prison. Well known for being sentenced, along with Nelson Mandela, Governor Mbeki, Walter Sisulu and others in the Ravonia trial, he was an active member of the ANC and the South African Communist Party SACP all his adult life. His kindly manner brought him the nickname, OOM Ray. <laughs> Personal life Raymond M. H. Labber was born in Mazaka village in the Fort Beaufort district, Eastern Cape and was educated at Heald Town Secondary School but had to drop out because of financial problems M. H. Labber started working at a laundry in Port Elizabeth after leaving school in 1942. He met and married his first wife, Joyce Mecke, who was also from the Fort Beaufort area in 1943. In their 17 years together, before her death in a car accident in 1960, they had three children Bekeka, Nomalungelo and Jonginshaba. In 1982, M. H. Labber, who had been a political prisoner in Robben Island since 1964, was transferred to Polsmore Prison where he received special permission to marry his common-law wife Dedeka Heliso in 1986, with whom he had three children M. Pilo, Nomawethu and Nikiwe. Topic. Early political career M. H. Labba started working at a laundry in Port Elizabeth after leaving school in 1942. The horrendous conditions at the laundry converted him to a trade unionist and he became the leader of non-European Laundry Workers Union in 1943. In 1943, he joined the South African Communist Party, serving as the party's district secretary from 1946 until the party was banned in 1950. In 1944, he became a member of the African National Congress. From 1944 M. H. Labber maintained dual membership of the ANC and the SACP. He rose through the ANC ranks becoming the chairman of the Port Elizabeth branch of the ANC from 1947 to 1953, and then elected to the Cape Executive Committee. M. H. Labber was the first to be arrested for disobeying apartheid laws during the nationwide defiance campaign of 1952 together with Governor Mbeki and Vuyisilmini for three months in Rui Hell, Red Hell or North End Prison, Port Elizabeth. The campaign was launched in Port Elizabeth when M. H. Labber led a group of volunteers singing freedom songs through the Whites Only entrance of the new Brighton railway station. This action earned him the Kosa nickname, Volundala, or He Who Opens the Way. That same year, M. H. Labber was charged under South Africa's Suppression of Communism Act. Although his political activities continued, he was barred from attending meetings or gatherings. After the ANC was banned on 8 April under the Unlawful Organizations Act, the party took up the armed struggle forming its military wing Umkonto we Sizwe. M. H. Labber was one of its first recruits and was sent to China for military training. Before leaving he assisted Mandela in writing the Umkonto constitution. In 1962, M. H. Labber returned to South Africa, becoming a commander of the MK after Nelson Mandela's arrest. Ravonia trial On the 11th of July 1963 the South African apartheid government raided the ANC's underground headquarters in Ravonia, north of Johannesburg. M. H. Labber and ten other ANC and SACP leaders including Ahmed Kathrada, Walter Sisulu and Governor Mbeki were arrested and Nelson Mandela was already in prison. They were charged with sabotage and conspiracy to overthrow the government. On 9 October 1963, the world-famous Ravonia trial with all the accused, charged with high treason. On 12 June 1964 M. H. Labber, Mandela and six other ANC leaders were sentenced to life imprisonment, and all were sent to Robben Island but the white Dennis Goldberg was sent to Pretoria Central Prison instead of Robben Island. <laughs> Topic. Struggle from prison During his time in Robben Island, M. H. Labber and other ANC members founded the ANC High Command or High Organ with Mandela as its head. The committee educated and supported younger imprisoned members, formulated policies on day-to-day -day concerns, prisoners' complaints, and strikes, and enforced discipline within their isolation unit. 
Looking back at the time in Robben Island Mandela said of M. H. Labber, I got to know him as the peacemaker. He spent a lot of time urging fellow prisoners to forget their differences and unite so that conditions for prisoners could improve. Topic. Release from prison After his release from prison in October 1989, he was elected to the ANC National Executive and the South African Communist Party Central Committee. He became national chairperson of the SACP in 1995. In January 1994 he was chosen as the ANC's nominee as Premier of the Eastern Cape, and in May 1994 he was elected to that post. He helped to establish the House of Traditional Leaders. He then became the High Commissioner to Uganda and Rwanda, until he retired in 2001. In April 2001 he released a book of his memoirs, narrated by him and researched and compiled by Thembeka Mafumadi. He was chairperson of a black economic empowerment consortium involved in the Koga port project, but suffered a stroke on 19 July 2003, recovering quickly. Death In 2004, M. H. Labber was diagnosed with advanced liver cancer, and in December doctors discharged him from a private clinic saying there was nothing they could do for him. On 20 February 2005 he died in hospital. M. H. Labber is survived by his wife Didaka Heliso, three sons and five daughters. Topic. Legacy M. H. Labber is seen as a stalwart member of both the ANC and the SACP. He was recognized with the Asitwalandwe Medal in 1992 for his role in the liberation struggle, and the Moses Kotane Award in 2002 for his contribution to the SACP. The Nkonkobe local municipality which includes Alice and Vlaba's hometown Fort Beaufort was renamed the Raymond M. H. Labber local municipality and Andres Pretorius Street, the R30 in Bloemfontein was renamed after Raymond M. H. Labber to honor him. <laughs>